Auto Line on the Road from CES 2022 is brought to you by Magna and by Element Materials Technology is a company that really specializes in testing. If you want to make any kind of product, you've got to test it and they can test anything. Rick Sluters is the Executive Vice President of uh, Element mm. and for the Americas. And Rick, you're here at CES. Mm. Why are you here? What kind of things do you want to show this tech world that you can do? Yeah, thanks, John. We're here with the full gamut of our testing, inspection and certification services. So as well for transportation where we test autonomous vehicles, electric vehicles and the connected vehicle and as well for our healthcare services. So that's really testing for um, medical devices. More and more are connected as well. And we're here for our cellular customers. So well, carrier testing as testing of the cellular devices itself. So I, I imagine you do all kinds of physical testing. Do you mm -hmm. get into software testing as well? We do a little bit of software testing and uh, especially the cybersecurity testing, which is a bigger and bigger item. If your device is connected these days, you also want to make sure that people cannot hack into it. Uh, so that is testing we provide too. That's especially important. So talk to us uh, about autonomous testing. What all mm. kind of testing do you do? Because there's all yeah. kinds of sensors when yep. you come to that and then the sensor fusion. Absolutely. So what we specialize in is really the 5G testing. So the connectivity of the car to the networks, uh, sensor testing, environmental simulations. Um, uh, so anything that can happen in real life. Uh, but mainly on component level. So we test mainly on component level the people that supply uh, to the car manufacturers. I gotta believe that business is booming, at, at least in that respect, because there's mm -hmm. so much money going into autonomous vehicles. Absolutely, we have seen the change. So we saw the transition starting about a decade ago, and it took a while, but in the last three years, this has taken off. It's uh, electric vehicle testing, autonomous testing, and now really the connectivity with 4 and 5G getting into the car. Um, it's bringing, it's making a new product. Let's talk a little bit about electric cars then, mm. too. What kind of testing do you do in that regard? So a big portion is testing of the battery, and then the electric powertrain. So we see also uh, existing vehicles, for example, city buses being converted to electric. Uh, so now suddenly you have a battery that is maybe placed on the roof, which changes the, yeah, the ballast and, uh, uh, and the configuration of the vehicle. So we do a lot of road testing for them, uh, and of course the battery testing itself and the electric powertrain. As you know, there's all different kinds of batteries, cylindrical, pouch, prismatic, yep. and the like. I gotta believe that there's different press testing procedures involved with those different kinds of batteries. There is, and uh, I'm happy to say that Element can actually provide all of them. Uh, so all the standard tests uh, that come out now and are required, uh, we're able to, uh, to perform those. And when it comes to connectivity, mm -hmm. there's all different kinds of uh, spectrums there, right? You know, there's yep. 5G, there's Wi-Fi, there's Bluetooth. Uh, and I'm sure you get into all of that as well. Yeah, and our main focus is really on 5G. So I think a lot of people understand Wi-Fi and Bluetooth very well. Uh, 5G is really new, it's a new infrastructure. Uh, we're the, one of the only test providers in the United States who can test for all major carriers and we test uh, for all uh, regulatory requirements as well. Um, not a lot of people have the capacity to test uh, for 5G because all the equipment is different, all the technology is different, uh, and we have invested heavily in the last three years, and we're the largest 5G tester at the moment. Rick, a lot of people may not know about Element. You know, describe briefly the business. You know, what, how much is automotive uh, or transportation a part yeah. of that, and what other industries are you in? Yeah. So if you look at the industries that Element focuses in, so we, we focus on highly regulated industries where failure is not an option. So our end markets are aerospace, space, healthcare, as well pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and transportation. All of them are very critical. Um, and in the US, about 20% of our business is, is transportation. Is that growing? I mean, is, is this a real opportunity for Element? It is, so automotive is growing, but I have to be honest that the other parts of the industry are growing as well. I think <laughs> the part that is growing uh, the least is aerospace, because with COVID we had uh, definitely a down step there. But if you look at pharmaceutical, medical devices, space, we should not forget space, commercial space has taken off uh, tremendously, and with that, a lot of testing that is needed for the rockets and the satellites and, uh, and transportation. It's, it's a new world with uh, the movement to electric. 
even though you're talking about different industries, is there any kind of synergy between the time kind of testing that you do? And mm -hmm. you can, can you take lessons learned from one industry and apply them to others? Yeah, so we were just talking about 5G and what does Wi-Fi do? All this technology really comes out of aerospace. So we were testing electric magnetic interference 30 years ago already in aerospace, because you have your avionics landing in an, in an airs, uh, airspace with radar. All that moves now into your home, into your car. Uh, so we have decades of experience in test for testing and now in new, uh, in new end markets. We also see that with uh, medical devices, um, uh, with space testing, because we test a lot of critical, critical items that are regulated, uh, that is what Element is good at. Okay, what am I missing here? Or am I missing anything? What else should you want to uh, convey to our viewers? I think what, what, what we want to say, no matter where you are in your product life cycle, whether it's early R&D and you need advice, or you want to do some early test in R&D or product qualification, or later on to get your certificate, to get your product to market, that's where Element can support you. And we support the big tech and automotive companies, as well as startup companies. Uh, so that is, that is what we want to be. We want to be here to help you put a better and more safe product to market. I think you said a critical thing there. You're not just doing the testing, you're helping these companies get the yeah. certification yeah. for whatever regulation they have to meet. Yeah, and I cannot stress that enough. A lot of people design a product and certification and market certification is an afterthought where you need to think about the regulations because you cannot sell your product if you don't have whether it's your FCC requirements, your OSHA requirements, uh, you name it, you need to have that uh, certificate to sell your product. You know, somebody told me a long time ago, if you can't test it, you can't improve it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that explains exactly what Element's about. Absolutely. Thanks, Rick. Really appreciate Joel, your time. Thanks. Absolutely. Thanks.